So I just got done making that part. And, well, all the turning done for that part. And now I'm going to start on the captor ring, which goes on top of it. Um, once that's done, I'll go back to this guy and tear down the lathe, set up the mill, and drill the holes that need to go around the edges. Okay, I got a new piece of stock loaded up, three-quarter inch brass. Um, first I'm going to drill out the centers. So center drill, bigger drill, and then a W drill, because that's the closest thing I have to um, 9.8 millimeters, which if all goes well, this should just slide right inside of. A little bit oversized, but shouldn't matter on this part. Um, what I am worried about is inside, which needs to be, or I need to bell out this end to fit the bearings. And I'd really like to run a reamer through it, but I don't have a 12 millimeter reamer, so I'll go with what I have, which is a 12 millimeter drill bit, which is the same as a 0.47. 0.4. So a 15 30 seconds is the next closest size. I may run that first to get the rough bore done and then chase it with the 12 millimeter if I need it. This goes down for a depth. 5.75 turn That's almost 12 dead on, so I'm going to leave it as that and not chase it with the 12 millimeter drill. Okay, next up, I gotta profile the outside. Currently, my outside diameter is about almost 19 millimeters. In theory, I need to take it down to 16, but this is not a particularly critical dimension on this part. But I need to cut a back edge to it over where the spring goes, and that that is somewhat critical. So. I'm going to use the front edge to get the tip of my cutter zeroed in. Yeah. Let's 
going to take a little thought. Eighteen point eight seven. 